Hello everyone, uh, let's get started. I hope everyone had a great day. Um, let's go through uh, from the first room to the fourth. Um, okay, yeah, so room one in session one of the day started with the 25th anniversary. Um, which is useful because I was there. <laughs> um, if anyone else wants to chime in, please do. So we talked about having ideas for how to celebrate KDE's 25th anniversary. That anniversary is coming up next year on October 14th, 2021. We talked about different uh, ways to celebrate on social media and in person and with hybrid events, uh, keeping in mind that COVID isn't completely over yet. So yes, we had some great ideas flowing, um, some of which uh, were videos to redo something like the welcome video from this year's Academy, uh, saying happy birthday to KDE in different languages. We had some in-person ideas like 25 small events in different cities uh, around the world. We had the idea of, um, let's see, doing uh, different group events in 25 different cities and being able to live stream them all to Big Blue Button so everyone can be together. And there was a bunch more that I cannot think of off the top of my head. So let's move on to the next, which was with Albert, uh, with I-18N. Albert, would you mind giving us a brief overview? I'm coming. Slowly coming. Hello. So yes, we did the translation both. Uh, we uh, overextended ourselves a bit because we uh, we're lucky and was somebody after us. So we talked about lots of things. Uh, one of the pressing matters we have in the translation world is that there is people that would like to be using a web translation-based system, which we don't have. We discussed a bit how we could move forward with that. Unfortunately, none of the people that really want that showed up for the both. So it was it was okay, but we would have uh, benefited from more people, but I mean, we can't force people to join joint meetings all the time. Uh, besides that, we, we spoke about lots of things. There's like plans to rewrite a part of our uh, infrastructure that we use for uh, creating the translation so that people can uh, start actually translating. Uh, the web page we have uh, right now is very old. Uh, we are just plainly hoping to replace it with someone else, something else and we don't have to care about it because we just kill it. Uh, there is uh, a need of working a bit on the documentation. We have lots of documentation, but it's in lots of different places. Uh, and it's, if you try to start, it's not so easy to figure out what to do, what to read uh, and where to go. Uh, so there's a plan to move forward with that. Uh, yeah, we spoke about more things, but I think those were the basics and I don't really want to bore people with translation. It's a very important thing. We need to make it better. Uh, that's the plan. Sounds like a good plan. Thank you. Well, we had a quiet morning besides the 25th anniversary. So let's move into room two. Uh, which had a bop on K Runner with Alexander. Is Alexander here to give us a little update? Hey so, there. Hello. We had a meeting about K Runner, and we especially wanted to focus on the DBus support because. This way, um, it is far easier for other developers uh, to write plugins because they can use their language of choice, for example, Python or Rust or Go or whatever. And there are currently some features missing, like some lifecycle methods of the Kerner objects. 
and also uh, we can't dynamically specify the actions for each match and we had discussed solutions for that and also the usage help for Krona is currently in progress so we had to make sure that the Dbus runners will work for that too and we also settled for making another library which will make it easier to write krunner plugins in C++ so that you don't actually need a lot of boilerplate and you have a lot of good documentation where you can just start writing your application and don't have to worry about all that. Awesome, thank you. Okay, well, that was all for room two today. Let's see what room three brought us with next generation styling. Is anyone there from that buff? Uh, yes, except that my camera doesn't seem to work, unfortunately. Okay. Um, <laughs> so uh, we have a long-term issue uh, where in that we have three different styling systems currently within KDE um, that we would really like to unify in the long term and uh, I've been working on a prototype for a unify or at least a style that unifies cute widgets and cute quick uh, during Academy and uh, so the boss started with me presenting that uh, and then we discussed what uh, whether this would be a, a good approach to take in the, uh, going forward. Uh, there were several suggestions uh, about what we could do with it, uh, but generally the uh, the style seems to be have have been received quite well. Um, and yeah, we had a bit of discussion about Q palette changes in. Uh, Q6. Unfortunately, we ran out of time before we could uh, really get into the depths of that. So, uh, yeah, that was it. Awesome. Do you think you'll have any follow-up off tomorrow to finish up what you missed today? Uh, I think we managed to conclude that we didn't really need much more talking for now, uh, since apparently the palette changes are in Q6 are uh, postponed anyway. So. All right. Um, okay, let's go on to the next uh, room three buff, which was the EV office hour. Uh, do we have Elish or Lydia or Aika, Nufitos? Anyone want to jump in here? I can explain a bit for a second what we said. Um, so basically, the idea was to have uh space where we could discuss uh some of the topics that people who attended were interested in which is what we did uh we went through uh some questions that uh came from other buffs that wanted uh some input from from the board and basically that needed money uh also we discussed the different uh strategies that we could do to engage with other organizations for largely funding and development we went over the goals that we set uh, for the EV on the last AGM and on the talk on Saturday and it was all fun. We also cleared up all the doubts everybody had about the favorite ice cream of every member of the board with uh, very clear conclusions in my opinion, but I will leave you all to draw your own. Okay, thank you. Um, all right, well, that sums it up for room three. Let's go to room four, which is probably a very interesting uh, buff. Contributors of the future. Let's see the littles. Maybe. Put on. <laughs> Hi. There we go. Hello. <laughs> Yeah, she was playing with letters. This is August, and August was one of our toddlers in the boff. Hi, August. It's nice to meet you. That's a C. 
who's who's your um papa? Moai. Yeah. Um and what else did we do in the I, box? I hide the water. Oh, you hid the letters. What else did we do? Did we I do story like time? Playing with what? Oh, you were playing with letters. Yeah, you were playing with letters. Um, what did you do? What did I do? Um, I'm going to. You did story we, yeah, time. Yeah, I did story time. Should we show them what we did? Yeah. Okay. I I did the one we do now. I did what? Yeah, you did letters. What, what letter do you have here? B. What's leave the B for? Alone. Oh, leave it alone. Leave the Y. Yeah, B for border eye. B for border eye. So we read Life on the Infinite Farm. This is available as a free PDF, and it's like a math book on acid. Um, <laughs> who are the animals on the infinite farm? Gracie is one of the animals. She is an infinite cow. So she doesn't have a back end because her feet go on forever. And there's lots of other animals and these two you get to come up with names. So we call them Hornhead and Bubble Butt, but um, you can come up with your own names. So it, that's and that's that's about what we did. That sounds like a lot of fun. Well, it was super nice to meet you, August. Actually, I have a question for you. Do you know what letter your name starts with? That's what, that that one. That one. That's right. That's awesome. You know, my name starts with the same letter too. That's pretty really cool. She's adorable. And that's what the water sea. Yeah, Kitty starts with a C. The name is Cat. Usually the name is Cat. Okay. So, so that that's all we have. Um, that's awesome. Thank you. Um, maybe do you want to put a link for the PDF in oh, oh, the yes. chat? Yes, I can do or, that. No. Um, I put it on IRC, but I can also put it. That would be awesome if anyone with little kiddos wants to download it. Oh yes, yep, they they got it. Yep. you can get the next letter. <laughs> well, thank you. Um, this wraps it up for our boff wrap up today. Um, thank you everyone who contributed i will say now that i think about it for the 25th anniversary ideas if you have any please send them uh on the fabricator task which is here um send them by or before october 31st of this year so you have a month and a half um, we want to compile all the ideas and start making those a reality uh, before it gets too late. Uh, so yeah, uh, we ha will have the pub quiz in 45 minutes at 1900 UTC. And I believe Albert just put the link in the chat so you can see that. And that is all for me tonight. 